Today I'm playing a new football game called Wildcard Football and I'm super pumped to dive into it because it seems like a mix of backyard football and NFL street. It's a 7-on-7 seven seven arcade style football game that's officially licensed by the NFL PA, so there's tons of NFL stars in it like Mahomes and Jalen Hurts. And the wildcard aspect should be the most fun part as I know that you can completely flip the game by doing all sorts of special moves. Let's go ahead and start it up. And it looks like there's an exhibition mode, a season mode, and a dream squad mode. It's nice to see that you can play online even in the exhibitions, and I might have to make a video on the season mode in the future because it looks like this could also be really fun. However, I really want to play the Dream Squad one today, and from this introduction alone, it looks like we get to create our own team. I know for a fact that in this mode at least, I can personalize our team's colors, logos, jerseys, and stadiums, so let's dive in by opening some packs. And this looks like it's going to have a pretty cool animation, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy it. So the first two things ended up being a jersey, this one is going to actually be a player, but he's only a 51 overall cornerback, so we're going to need to get some more heat in these last two picks, and we don't. I guess it's on to opening up the next one. And since the rest of this pack looks like a bunch of greens, I'm just going to flip all. That might be the best way to handle these. And there's our first 55 plus. And both of these guys are going to be pretty useful. I got one more of the green ones to open up and it looks like we are going to get another good player. So let's see what type of seven on seven team we have. Before that though, I get to customize this team and I have to match our logo to my favorite college's colors. As for the jerseys, I get to select it based off the ones we packed. And you know that we're repping that Kentucky blue. I also think the gilded shoes have a much cleaner look. And then I found this tab and I don't exactly know what I'm looking at, but I'm assuming when we use the power-ups, these are the things they'll get into. As cool as some of these are, I'm going to have to go up to the top and use blazing bones because imagine facing off against guys that look like this. As for our city and team name, I think you all know where I'm going with this. So we have the Kentucky Wildcats, but I can't choose us playing in Lexington. So we're going to have to go with Nashville. I think New York could be really cool as well though. And I want to unlock Hawaii and London in the future. So hopefully later on in this video, we will get to use them. But now that I customized our team, we get to see our roster. And it's a good time to mention that since I got the ultimate edition, I was blessed with these four players when I first loaded everything up. That means when I go to check our offense, we have Dan Marino, Jerry Rice, and Barry Sanders. But I know Romeo Dobbs is faster than Van Jefferson, so I'm going to sub him in. As for our defense, it's a 48 overall with our best player being Bryce Callahan. And the game says our team is ready to go into a matchup. I like the team building aspects of games though, so I want to explore what collection is. And it seems like this screen is where I can explore all the stuff we have, but there is a trade cards one, and I think we can exchange some of our bench players for better items. If I take these five guys and get rid of them, I'll get 50 more tickets, and I think this is going to be worth it, because now we have 100, which is enough to go out and get Jamal Adams. I think this will help our defense a lot, because right now it's a 48, but with him plugged into the lineup for 46 overall Kirby Joseph, we're up to a 50, and now I need to get our wild card deck sorted so we're ready to play a game. These are the power-ups that we're going to be able to use, and I think we have quite a few to choose from, which is awesome, because there's one called Cloak Ball, which makes anybody carrying the ball invisible. As for most of the defensive ones, there's a lot that make us faster or them slower, but I want to focus on tar pits because this is going to be fun to use in the game if we're able to slow down the offense. As for the playbooks, you can also customize those. And I want to make sure we have the screenplay, so I'm going to replace it for IF drive. Also, if something has this little hat on it, it means it's a trick play. So we're going to load those into this playbook and I'm ready to play so we can choose between a quick game, the league and a tour. On the quick game, it's going to be an online matchup. And for the league, it looks like you can move up or down to Divisions. The tour is the last one available and this is what I want to explore because as you play each game it looks like you unlock more stuff and our first one is against the Wyoming Blue Gyms. I'm Chris Berman and you know what they say, if you can't stand the heat, don't put on the pads and play football in Nashville. <laughs> you can tell that we are in Nashville right now. And look at how sick those jerseys look. We're also getting a coin toss animation where it goes to the other team. And for the kick meter, I think I got good power there. It's going to go almost to the back of the end zone. I want to hit stick someone super hard. These jerseys really stand out and that's crushing. As for the play calling screen, I'm going to call man free. And it looks like I can use this wild card to increase our speed. On this first one, they go with the run and now it's a pass. That definitely threw me off, but we almost picked it. And I'm going to control the rusher on this play, which ended up working out for us. Here on third down, they go with a run and he just somehow knocked our player over and got up from it. So we're going to give up the first down. Let's just say, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to stop the run because their running back is so good. And I'm literally just going to send some blitzes where we are going to hit him hard. The ball is on the ground. Please, somebody pick it up. There we go. That is huge. We are on offense now and I'm handing it off to Barry Sanders. Get out of there, please. Get out of there. You are quicker than all of these guys. If they catch you, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, never mind. That's going to bring us to the end of the first quarter. And now I'm going to try throwing 
throwing a pass to Jerry Rice. He just cooked that guy on him. He's going to catch it. That's a touchdown. In a game like this, I don't see any point in kicking the extra point, but we're not going to get it. And I didn't realize that was a halfback pass. I'm also going to be aggressive with the onside kick, which we are not going to get, but we are going to throw that guy down. And that was somehow our kicker that did that. I think the blitz is the best thing we can do, but they get us with the halfback pass, and I was not expecting it at all. Somebody bring him down. I got to say, this is a nice change of pace with all these interesting animations. And on third and four, they go with a little run, which we are going to lock up. Our player is doing a somersault and doing a snowflake on the ground. So we taunted them, and all they're doing is kicking a field goal, which they miss. Their kicker looks very upset right now. And he has given us a chance to put up even more points. We might have this wheel route if it was not underthrown. And just like NCAA football, I can't read a defense, so we are going to have to punt it right back to them. I'm hoping that this is able to hit that barn in the background, but it's not going to go that far. There's only six seconds left in the half, so we should be able to hold them scoreless. And I don't know how he is celebrating after getting railed like that. Let's just not give up points on the last play. They go with the halfback pass again, and somehow they still have time out there. They did it again. We're going to drop the pick, but I think that was a very solid first half for the Kentucky Wildcats. We have more average yards of play than them, and to start the third quarter, we get the ball, so I'm going to try to score with Barry Sanders here. He does not get far. I need him to just be a little bit quicker on this outside part, but because he wasn't there, we are going for it on third down, and I'm just going to throw up a prayer, which is knocked away. It has certainly been a defensive battle for us, and that means the addition of Jamal Adams was definitely the right move. I'm covering everything here. No way their quarterback just broke those tackles, and on third down, they go with the run. We just got to hold them, which we do. That is big. It all goes back to me selecting the strong boost before the play, and we're using a 50% speed boost on this play, so I think we're going to be able to take the top off of their defense, which we weren't quite able to do, but we still catch it. On this one, I'm finally going to use the cloak ball, which means our ball carrier will be invisible. And let's see what happens because of it. I don't even know where he's at, and he is not the quickest in the world. I wish it wasn't Romeo Dobbs that took that handoff, but we have somebody wide open, and I can't get the throw out. So what an unfortunate ending to the third quarter, and I think it's time we try a fake play where this goes to our halfback. He passes it, and it doesn't go far enough. With the way we're playing, I should have named this team the Iowa Hawkeyes. I got to punt it back to them again, and their returner fumbles the ball, but he's going to pick it up. We need to just make a tackle now. That is unfortunate. I thought we had him there, boys. Now they're handing it off, and we're going to force another fumble. This defense has been incredible. This is amazing. We're going to truck him too, so I'm giving all credit to them, and look at this celebration as well. Maybe we can just run out the rest of the clock and see what happens. Barry Sanders jukes out of bounds, and you can definitely tell that I'm still learning the controls, but their defense was not ready for the deep post over the middle of the field. There's 59 seconds left, but they only have three timeouts, so I feel like we're in a good position. I just flipped over him, and what is Barry Sanders doing? He just dabbed. This backyard style is exactly what I need. We're going with the cloak ball again. This time, I'm just going to have to hand it off a little bit quicker, and he is going to take it on the counter, but they know where I'm at somehow. The cloak ball did not work for us. The defense was aware, but we have someone on the drag route, and we might not make it to the end zone. The smart decision would be to take our field goal, but I'd rather score a touchdown, and that is not going to happen for us. Wait, Barry Sanders gets in. That's incredible. I don't know how he was able to pull that off, but I have figured out the juke move combo that works, and our extra point is just good. Matt Gay is moving like he is 20 again, and for our first matchup, I'm very happy with how this game has gone. The halfback passes have been their staple, though, and I think they've realized that it is all over. This is the final play of the game. Our defense has done a great job, and it's nice that we won our first matchup. Another cool thing about this game is the more you play, the more your players upgrade, and this win has gotten us a new pack. Also, since I did get the ultimate edition, I have these 10 other ones to open as well, so we are about to have a blast improving our team to make this second game even more fun. This stolen fourth down wild card is awesome because we could limit them to three downs on the possession, and even though these are common loot boxes, that is a huge pull to get out of them, and we're going to get a couple more players. As for the purple one that's up next, I'm curious what is in here, and there's only four item slots, but I'm assuming they're going to be a lot better, and that's going to get us someone like Taylor Decker. Once again, I'm going to flip all, and I see that we got a lot more things, and now we're on to the gold boxes, which are even higher, and these are going to contain something like Robert Woods a 64. I could have played my first game with all these big players, but I wanted to get an experience without all of the talent to see how hard it was, and we did play really well. There's Kirk Cousins, and also a Wildcat jersey, which fits us perfectly. I'm excited to kind of rebuild everything once I'm through with these packs. We're also getting Trey Hendrickson, and our final one that we get to open up is going to contain these four, which include Devin Singletary. I'm curious to see what happens when I select best offense. That gets us up to a 59, and for the defense, we're going to go from a 50 overall to a 55. As for our customization, I really think these unfinished business ones could be 
be cool. But I also like the basic look of something like the gridiron jersey. No offense to the Wildcat one, but I don't think we should be wearing crop tops. And I think it's hilarious that we can have fingerless gloves. Our pads are also going to get a massive upgrade. And our helmets are not going to have a face mask on them. I wish I knew how to unlock stadiums because there's even ones like Niagara Falls. And once I put all of our new wild cards over in our starting deck, we'll be ready for another game. Unfortunately, to continue unlocking stuff, I won't be able to use them. But since I've changed our stadium location to New York, I'm looking forward to getting a brand new experience. Hello, New York City. Lady Liberty is here. The pizza eating pizza rat is here. Oh, and we're here too to call this playground game. I think these jerseys look a lot cleaner and this time we're gonna win the toss. Also, can I just say this stadium in downtown New York looks insane. We already have a wide open receiver. Barry Sanders is actually a halfback. He is a beast and I don't think anybody's gonna catch him. Maybe so, the mud is slowing him down a little bit. No way. He has enough energy to flop around but not get to the end zone. And maybe he can finish the job off a couple of plays later with a score. On the two point conversion, I kinda just wanna run around but they were prepared for it. And let's just hope that our defense can be as good as it was in the last one. Third and long already. They are just going to run it again, but they almost broke free. And I think they're set up to punt it. We have somebody that's decently far back enough. So we're going to go for the return with Jamal Adams, and he is not going to get anywhere, including fumbling the football. Okay, they better not score off of this. This is not the way we're going to give up our first points. Body slam that dude. We cannot lose to guys in chicken suits, and I honestly just want to lay him out after fumbling that football. I am so upset. Please intercept it, though. No, he didn't get to it. Jabril Pepper just couldn't time his jump right that would have been a pick but instead they're probably going to score a touchdown and it was James Connor that got it done like a smart team would they're actually going to take the extra point but they're going to miss it and with about 30 seconds left in the first we are all tied up at six right here on this handoff we're going to get a few but I'm ready to see what Kirk Cousins can do it's not prime time so he should perform well but taking a sack in that position is not good now we have to get this throw out and that chicken's literally taunting us I miss having all the power-ups already that is a massive hit though and that's going to conclude the end of the first quarter. I'm inching forward just in case they go with the run, and we were fully prepared for that. Third and 10 now, and they went with the run again, but it's going to work, or maybe not. The refs are going to mark them two yards short, and we should be a lot more prepared for a fake here, but we have guys back ready to return, and hopefully we do not fumble this one. That would be unfortunate. Here on a second and 11, Barry Sanders is open in the flat again, but Kirk misses the throw, and that could have been the first down that we needed, and I won't get the throw out in time. It's another fumble. They have just destroyed us on the defensive side of the ball. This is miserable. We need to play so much better if we're going to win this game. And let's see how the kicker does on this extra point. He's gotten it down the middle. Without being able to use the power-ups, it's been a much harder game for us. I loved using them in the last one, but I am still confident in our ability to get the win if we had any time. They're literally doing the snow angel celebration on us. And it was a lot more fun when we were the ones doing that to the other team. What is going on with our left tackle? He's getting all the blame for this, and we don't even get this throw off. But the game is telling me to go for it. And it might be fourth and 25, but I don't care. I'm going to trust their opinion and we might end up converting it. No, that hit was massive. I thought we had them, but instead they are going to get the ball back and no way that he is still up. Somebody please just slam him on the ground. That's going to take us to the half 13 to six. We're losing. And it's only because of fumbles since we've dominated this game. Unfortunately, we're also starting the second half out on defense, but this kick is so far. It's going to go between the uprights. I've always dreamed of doing that in a football game, but they're getting so much time here and this needs to be an interception. Come on. I might as well just continue to send blitzes at him, and we are going to level James Conner. It's hard to believe that he's still out there after this play, and this one as well. And don't ask me how he was marked short. It's fourth and one, and they are punting us the ball. I think our best option is just to hand this one off, and it is another fumble we recover. But we just have to make sure that that does not happen again, and we have X, but the throw was underthrown, and what a tackle. I'm impressed that he was able to hold on, but then again, it's also Jerry Rice, so he should be able to hold on to that football. Barry Sanders somehow got out of there and we are handing this one off to Robert Woods which is a little bit weird but he sheds the tackle doesn't get the first and here we go fourth and three we have the wheel route throw it throw it Kirk that is a beautiful one it's on the money Robert Woods gets into the end zone and we have tied it all up at 13 assuming we make the extra point there is some wind on this play so I'm a little bit worried it is not going to go in and I didn't think the wind was going to be that strong we're going to have to force another defensive stop and I'm starting to learn the controls a little bit better this should be an interesting 
interception, but none of us made a play on the ball. And on second and 10, a couple of plays later, they go with the handoff, which James Conner just shed two tackles. That's bad. We cannot let him run all over us like that. We did not get the animation we needed there, though. That could have been a pick. They're going to score again. And the good thing is we're not out of this yet, even if they make this extra point, which they do. That is going to be the end of the third quarter, though. And I hope we can make it to overtime. I'd be very interested to see what it's like on this game. We are going to get nowhere with Callahan, or he is going to escape. He has no stamina, but he was able to juke out of it, and this is going to be a lot farther than I thought it would. I'd love to somehow make this the final drive of the game, but I don't think it'll happen. And I'm going to continue to give it to Barry Sanders, but he is just getting rocked, and he stayed up from that. This is going to be a third and long that we need to pick up, and look who is wide open. Barry Sanders cannot be stopped, so I'm very thankful to have him on our team. And we might as well just hand this one off to him here, where he is just going to go through multiple people. That was a grown man play from him. He's dusting off his shoes. And on on the two-point conversion, I wanted to go straight to Robert Woods, but I'm going to try to run him with Kirk instead, and unfortunately, they were ready for it. We have three timeouts, so we can get a stop, and I love that they take it out of the end zone. This is not a soft game, because in the NFL now, that is 100% a knee, 100% of the time. We're going to get a massive hit here, though. Sauce Gardner throws him down, and we're going to have to start using our timeouts. We know the run is coming, except this time, they actually went with the pass, and we sack him. So it's third and 14. They go with the pass. This is going to be a deep one, but we get another sack. It's a safety. That is going to tie the game up at 20. And all we have to do is not fumble the ball and hopefully get in field goal range. That's all we're going to need. Come on, keep breaking tackles, flip around. And with 57 seconds left, it's going to be all on Barry Sanders to get it done. I want to look in the flat. They don't have anybody on B. Let's go ahead and catch that. And I'm going to run that wheels concept again, but this time they were prepared for it. I should have thrown it away. Here on second and 19, we might as well just try to get out of bounds. But Kirk Cousins is not playing well. And that is unfortunate. I think we're going to have to punt the ball back. They sack us. I need this to go as far as possible. We do not want them to get a good return, but it's going to about the 40. At least we could smear him here, maybe force a fumble. And I'm excited to see what our defense can do. We are going to nail him here. He's somehow still up, though. Please just take him to the ground. And there's only nine seconds left, so we should be okay, assuming he doesn't break free here. It seems like they're shooting for overtime. We better not give a touchdown up here. Come on, boys. He falls down. And it is time for sudden death, not over time. It's been a very good game and the coin toss is going to go to them. I think I heard the announcer say it's overtime so it's the first team to score that wins and that is scary. No down limit. That is also intimidating because how are we ever going to get a stop and I guess we're just going to have to shoot for getting a safety or an interception if we want to hold this team. We're going to slam them down after they get the first but I almost feel like we need to be sending blitzes or something. This could be the pick that does it. Let's go. We finally get an interception from Sauce Gardner and I think he's only like like a 50 overall with this card, but it doesn't matter as long as he gets the job done. What a catch from Barry Sanders. And you know that he's going to be our go-to guy here. He's not going to get anywhere except he somehow got up from that. And I've never wanted to win a game more in my life. I'm going to try to float this one up. Kirk Cousins is going to miss. And the game is suggesting that we kick a field goal. So we are about to find out if Brett Maher has the leg for it. If he made that extra point, we wouldn't be in this position. It is going to not drop in. I guess the no down limit means time on the clock. I just realized that. So you're going to have to ignore my ignorance because I see the second and 18. Now this is one on one and we did not get the stop we needed there. Please somebody make a tackle. Okay. I'm not feeling too good anymore. I'm not a fan of giving up plays like that. We are just going to have to do something big and we are just going to have to send in heat. I won that edge rush. We get pressure in. The ball is on the ground. The ball's on the ground. Someone pick it up. Let's go, Sauce Gardner. He breaks the tackle. He has been the MVP of this game. And I love how fun defense is on this game. It's much different than the other ones I've played, and that is swatted into an interception. Okay, maybe I don't enjoy how good the defense is. We need to win. I feel kind of crazy saying this, but I'm not even worried about getting a stop because our defense has just been so good, and we need to hold James Conner, which we do. On fourth and one, they got their kicker out there, so they are punting it, and we have seen fumbles on these returns before, so I just want to kind of get out of bounds. And since he did something like that, Bryce Callahan should not be flexing. We are going to try to go through Barry Sanders once again, except he just got met at the line. And I'm going to take this snap. We have B wide open. It is floated. Come on, please get there. Let's go. That's a huge catch from Robert Woods. Taking this snap now after Robert Woods just had that big play for us. We're going to throw a bullet pass. This time we get it off and now get us inside the 15. I feel like all the momentum in the world is on our side right now. We should be able to score on this drive. We just need a bit more. And we haven't mixed in a run in a while. So that's what I'm going to do with 
Barry Sanders. And we're going to do it again on third down. I didn't hand it off the right way, though. And he somehow doesn't get the first. Or maybe he did. It says first and goal. We're just going to continue to pound it. And on second and goal, I'm just going to try to go to our flat. There we go. It's open. That is game. We have won in the end. And what a beautiful way to end this video. That was so much fun. You're also going to see some of our players leveling up. And we're going to get some packs for winning. For winning those first two matchups, we got to claim another one as well. And let's just hope that we can end with some solid pulls. That would be awesome. And if you all enjoyed watching Wildcard Football, I'd recommend getting it. I've had a good time playing it, and the online modes are going to be even more fun. There's an all-star helmet in there. And I'm going to do the best lineup one last time to see how good of a team we were able to build. It is up to a 57. But if I ever want to trade in some players for some tickets, I know we can get even better players. That's going to fully wrap it up, though. Thank you to Wildcard Football for sponsoring this video. And again, if you all think this looks like fun, there will be some links down in the description where you can go to their website and get the game.